After losing to Brentford at home by two goals to no on Wednesday, Southampton were under pressure to pick some points amid their battle to escape relegation. Well, on Saturday afternoon, they avoided their second consecutive defeat after salvaging a point at the St. Mary's when they faced Tottenham Hospice. Kamaldin Suleiman and Mohamed Salisu Southampton came from behind, with the match finishing 3 3 when the full time whistle was blown. Black Stars duo Kamaldin Suleiman and Mohamed Salisu all started from the bench. However, the 23 year old Ghanaian centre back was introduced just eight minutes into the game when German centre-back Amel Bella Kochap picked up an injury in the early minutes of the game. Antonio Conte's men were leading at half-time after Pedro Poro's amazing strike in the injury time of the first half. However, the Saints responded quickly in the second half with an equaliser by Shea Adams. But Antonio Conte's men went two goals up again. Hurricane's 65th minute header and Ivan Perisic's 74th minute volley made it look like the game was all over for Southampton and Tottenham were heading to London with all three points. Nonetheless, it didn't take very long for Antonio Conte's men to be stunned. The introduction of 21-year-old Ghanaian winger, who is their record signing, Kamaldin Suleimana, and French attacker Sekou Mara injected some energy into Southampton's attack and kept piling pressure on the defence of Tottenham Hotspur before Theo Walcott pulled one back for the Saints. Now left with one goal to pull parity, Southampton intensified the attack and became more incessant before a later goal by Senegalese midfielder Papi Saar on Saint defender Ainsley Maitland Mouse saw the referee awarding Southampton a late penalty, but it had to go through a lengthy VAR check before it was finally awarded. Southampton's keeper James Ward Prowse made no mistake, dispatching it perfectly to level the scoring. Eventually, it was the last goal of the game when the final whistle was blown. While they still meet against Tottenham Hotspur on Saturday afternoon at the St. Mary's, me and Southampton have gone three games without a win, and sadly for them, they are lying at the bottom of the Premier League table with just 23 points. After game week 28, their next game will be against West Ham United at the London Stadium, which will be after the international break. Now, at the Jintai Community Stadium on Saturday afternoon, Black Stars defender Daniel Amate was in action for Leicester City when they visited Brentford for their 27th Premier League game this season. And just like Amadi Suleimana and Mohamed Salisu Southampton, Amate's Leicester City were also coming into the game at the back of a defeat. In fact, they were on a four game losing streak before their Saturday fixture against Brentford. So clearly they were under some pressure to pick some points to be able to continue remaining in the safety zone on the Premier League table. Well, it was shaping up to be another defeat for Leicester City when Brentford took the lead in the first half with a 32nd minute goal scored by Brentford midfielder Matthias Jensen. Daniel Amati and his centre-back partner Harry Suter did some amazing job after conceding a goal to ensure the Foxes didn't concede any more goals before Harvey Barnes equalised in the 52nd minute for Leicester City, salvaging a point after the final whistle. Now Leicester City are just one point above the relegation zone, 25 points after 27 games, 17 on the Premier League table as we speak. Now they take on Crystal Palace after the international break and that will be at the Sellers Park in London and they'll be looking forward to picking some points to move further into the safety zone on the Premier League table. Now after playing their games today, Daniel Amate, Mohamed Salizu, Kamadin Suleimana would all be making preparations to come to Ghana as the Black Stars have a game to play on the 23rd of March against Angola at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Thomas Partey and Jordan Ayew, who would all be featuring in the game against Arsenal and Crystal Palace tomorrow, and Tarek Lamte, whose side Brighton and Hove Albion will be facing Grimsby Town in the English FA Cup on Sunday, will join their teammates later. On this note, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you have any comment or opinion, let's hear you in the comment section under the video. We'll meet again in the next one. It's bye for now. Enjoy your day.